Now we are going to install a Red Hat Enterprise Linux system using the kickstart file that was generated from our other computer. We will be performing this from a network location. You can use a kickstart file from a CD, hard drive, web location, FTP server, NFS server, or even a USB device. The basic syntax between each of these methods is the same. You will just need to modify the location of your kickstart file itself. In our example, we will install from an NFS server. First, we boot the install media, and then we press the escape key. At the boot prompt, we put in our kickstart installation instructions. We're specifying kickstart here. Our kickstart file is at an NFS server, which is located at this IP address. And the NFS folder that is being shared out is at slash serve slash NFS. And our kickstart file itself is ks.cfg. You'll notice that we have a shorter name for our kickstart file. We just renamed it on our server to save us a little bit of typing. Next, we press enter and the installation DVD will boot our system. Network Manager is going to give us an IP address on our ETH0 card. Is contacting the NFS server. And now the installation will actually begin. As you can see, our partitions in our logical drives are being created along with the file systems as dictated by our kickstart file. And again, we are providing no input here. All of this is being read from our kickstart file itself. Now it is checking our kickstart file for all the packages and the dependencies that it will need to install them. And the installation process continues. Now all of the packages that were configured in our kickstart file are being installed in our system. And now our installation has finished and we can reboot our system. And there we go. We have a brand new Red Hat Enterprise Linux server completely installed with very little input from us.